I first met Jordan, I went to his school and I met this guy who was just this like mound of enthusiasm, just this larger than life character and I just thought man this is the exact guy that the Parisi Speed School needs, I, whatever it was going to take and so I got to talk to his family and financially they couldn't figure out a way to make it happen but they agreed with, with me and Jordan that this would be a life changing experience. We had just started the John Waring Foundation and he was the first athlete to get a scholarship. I think that's really important because in all the ways that matters, Jordan is exactly what we're looking for. He's not ever going to be the most athletic, um, he's not going to ever be the most um, physically uh, impressive uh, one out of the group, but in character and enthusiasm, I mean, he is going to always lead the charge. The thing that really stands out to me about Jordan's improvements, they're not in the weight room and they're not on the track, but it's how he interacts with people, like how he works in this group and how this group has grown to rely on him and that enthusiasm. I mean, he fits right into this group. He always trains with this same subgroup of middle school dudes we call the All B Squad. And these guys, they look for him, he looks for them. They've all got these nicknames. They all just push each other and encourage each other and just the fact that he gets to be a part of that, I mean, that for me, that's the whole entire reason that I am a coach. I mean, just, he's in here and, he, and he's part of something. And that's what's magical about the gym. For a guy like Jordan in society, the deck is just stacked against him in so many ways. But you come in here, it's an even playing field. You get in here, he in the weight room, he's like, he's like a king. And it's just one of the most incredible things that you can be a part of. Jordan needs to be an introvert, a loner. Um, he never would want to go and do anything except for sit at home and be by himself and play by himself. And ever since joining the gym, he's just come out of his shell. He's grown so much. He's gained so much confidence. In school, he, he's, all his classes were academic support. And he's gained so much confidence in himself that he can do things that they've cut back on 95% of his classes. He amazes me every day with growth and maturity and the special kid that he is is just, it blossoms. He, he, there's another petal that grows on him every day. Now he goes out and he plays with the kids across the street. He goes for walks down the street. Um, he's just grown so much. If you're running a, a speed school, whether it be Parisi or any kind of athletic program, and somebody like Jordan doesn't really fit into your program, the problem is not Jordan. The problem is your program. If your goal is empowering youth, you need guys like Jordan. Because I work hard and I believe in what I do. Committing to what I do and pretty much overall trying to um, being enthusiastic or being enthusiastic and helping out the others to be enthusiastic. Like the other people in your, the other athletes that you train with? Yes. Yes. Do you think that you make workouts better for the other people you work out with? Yes, I do. It means a lot to me, and I honestly feel that with the right leadership, anyone can do anything.